What's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to repair an apron the right way, replacing the entire thing on a 2000, this is a 2014 Jeep Wrangler, but it's gonna be the same for any JK at least. So it's not that difficult, honestly. It is kind of a little time consuming, but it definitely can be done. So if you bought a salvage Jeep, um, maybe you wrecked it, maybe you rock crawling and bent over and bent it, it's not the end of the world. The apron itself isn't that much. It's just gonna take a little bit of work and time. So no further ado, if you're in the same boat, this video is for you. driver's side, I, I can't fix that one. The one that's on there is just, it's too bent, especially up front here where it attaches to the body. So we're gonna have the fun time of installing this. It's gonna be pretty insane. I've never done anything like this before, so we're gonna see, see how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing open and see what it's all about. some people online and they just cut it right behind the crunch point here and they basically cut it the saws off measure cut and then weld it on it seems pretty straightforward but i think i want to take this piece all the way back <laughs> let me show you this there is this plastic piece right here so uh, this is broke right here and in there so I just ordered this from the dealer this morning, 150 bucks for this piece of plastic. Could not find that anywhere online. I mean, so this is not perfectly straight and flush out like this. So it really needs to be almost twisted because it is twisted and pretty bad. It's still bent back in here. So that would have to get moved more like this. Also get bent up. It's just too much. There it is. It's missing the apron. So let's get busy on removing 47 spot welds. <laughs> or what it looks like. Here we go. thing off there somehow. Just gonna put a screwdriver in and a hammer and see what happens. Here's the aprons and two spot welds in that hole, four in this one. I'm not sure there because I gotta get to dig this stuff out. Probably two and there's one in this one. And there's outside, one on the outside, one on the outside and the opposite on the back side. And there's gonna be a bolt so I'm gonna have to take off the 
inside the Jeep. There's two nuts that are welded on, as you can see right here. So I'm assuming there's a bolt on the back side that pull that in from the inside of the oh. There's enough room in here. Ha! It slides out. Woo! That is amazing. back a little bit. I took out these three spot welds, pried it back, and I can just cap it back down with a hammer. Let's see if I can get this sucker in here for Come on. some of these uh, where the spot welds were go ahead and get that down grind down so I can go ahead and weld this new panel on when I get it in I take the apron back off because I gotta I forgot I gotta clean up all this crappy surface rust and junk in here. So I'm gonna clean up all these spot welds, then I can move this back on, all right? All right, I'm gonna need to go to the store. I gotta go get some weldable primer. I can go ahead and reinstall this so we can start putting some of this back together. Spread a little bit of etching primer behind where the apron's gonna go. Let's go ahead and put this apron back on. Got it in. Man, look how beautiful that thing lines up. So uh, I'm go ahead and properly secure that a little bit and then. Um, just start moving along. We're back on and installed and everything. Oh, except for these two, these two little guys. And I'm, I'm not gonna be painting this anyway. I don't wanna paint the apron. Let's see, and there we go. I don't wanna paint it. I mean, you really, you can tell it doesn't need to be painted anyhow. I mean, look at this side. It's got a little bit of white on it underneath, but I mean, you're not gonna see this stuff anyway. I'm just gonna leave it e-coated. All right, guys, I hope this really helps out somebody. As I know when I was looking how to do this, I couldn't find anything. So if this helps you out, give it a big like, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see the rest of the builds on my channel and this one currently on the Jeep Wrangler, Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything on it. Until next time, see you later.